Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I'm going to show you how I turn these aluminum cast muffins into a Y splitter for my B or CO2. I started by taking this muffin and milling a flat face with the bottom of the muffin against the fixed jaw. Then I flipped it over and milled another flat on the top side. You always have to have a face to index from. And so a couple quick turns here on the top of the muffin will then give me three relatively flat faces and the bottom two are parallel. Then I put the bottom flat of the muffin and milled the top. And then I flipped it over and milled the bottom flat. So now I had a great starting point with which to mill this one flat a little bit larger so that then I could center drill it and begin to uh, drill my first hole here. This is just a, it's so easy, I love drilling aluminum. And then I enlarged the hole here to 7 16 so that it could be tapped with a uh, quarter inch NPT tap. And this just went super smooth and it was a 5 8 deep hole. Then I rotated this and drilled a small pilot hole on the edge of the bottom of the other hole so that it ended up with a Y. And then I came back at it from the other side uh, and then enlarged that. You'll see here in a second how I use the drill bit when I flip something over to then re -center, relocate my part in the vise. Then of course I had to mill off this little excess here to allow enough room for the eventual ball valve to thread in once I were to tap this. A couple passes here made quick work of that. And here you can see how I use the bit once I flip this over to then realign the muffin with because I, I need the hole to be perpendicular to the axis of the drill so that when I come back at it with the mill bit I can be sure that this plane that I'm milling is perpendicular to the axis of the drill. Now I didn't have a tap wrench uh, for this size of tap so I had to ad lib here with my regular wrench and it worked just fine. And like I said this is just a quarter inch NPT not very deep either. And then Harbor Freight has some of these little ball valves for just a couple bucks. They're really cheap. Now, of course, doing all of this to save the $8 that it would cost, or 8 or 11 bucks to, to buy and ship a manifold is, is not worth it. But this is just an exercise, like most things on my channel, just to see if I can. And then this little barb here. Now, when I go to hook it up, I turn my uh, gas all the way off. And then inside the fridge, I disconnect the gas connector on the keg and then I just went ahead and snipped this off because I, I simply couldn't pull it off of that barb. No big deal. Go ahead and bleed that off and then I, it's very difficult to turn anything here and so I'm going to have to loosen the entire regulator a bit so that I can get this out of the plane of the tank because this Y now can't rotate right next to the tank. And I use this as my high pressure line for the fizzy water. And it goes in just like so and that's all there is to it. This was really fun, totally not worth it, but you can do it yourself, just don't be afraid to try. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.